Do, do, do. Hey guys, I hope all of you are doing very well today on this Wednesday afternoon. Maybe it's the Wednesday morning or evening for you. Um, but welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. And I hope that you're having a lovely week. Hi, Guillaume. Welcome. Nice. So guys, for those of you that are new, my name is Mish. I'm from South Africa. However, I live in Spain and I actually officially became a resident today. So I got my residency card. I picked it up from immigration and I'm very, very excited and happy about it <laughs> because now I don't feel worried about Brexit <laughs> and all of that. Okay. Hi, Priyanka. Lovely, you guys. I have Cookie here in the bedroom and he is trying to catch a fly <laughs> on the window. It's very cute. Um, so if you hear any noise, it's not me, it's Cookie. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Um, guys, how are you doing? How is your week going? Um, how is your April going? Wow, time is flying in 2021. Cookie, shh. And, uh, um, yeah, um, tell me a little bit about yourselves and how you are enjoying this month and this week. I'm good, thank you, Rizka. Um, I am feeling a little bit exhausted this week. I've been very busy trying to get the Fluency Club perfect for all of you lovely learners. And I really look forward to launching it next week. So I hope you're all excited about that and some of you are going to join in and be committed with your English and enjoy being a part of a community that supports you and helps you to reach your goal of English fluency. Guillaume, it has been a long time. I haven't been able to join your live, but today is a holiday in my country. Lovely. You're lucky. Ah, I wish. <laughs> Hi, Hayback. Hi, Sol. Hi, Hashem. Okay, nice guys. So here on my YouTube channel, I go live on Wednesdays and Fridays and I use a website called, one second, engu.com, okay, engu.com and this is where I, I find my articles to teach you. It really is a wonderful, uh, wonderful website because you can find up-to-date new content news that is posted every day daily and you can also choose according to your level of english so if you're intermediate advanced or proficient you can find articles that will suit you and benefit you the most all right so if you have a look at the caption of this video you will see uh, you will see the the link Okay, and you can click on the link, but you don't have to click on the link because I'm going to pop up the article on the screen today. Um, yay, Divish, well, Divu, welcome. Hi, Hunter. Uh, um, okay, lovely. Zahu Ahmed said his school teacher recommended my channel. Yay, lovely. Um, wonderful. Good, guys, so let's begin this lesson today. All right, I'm going to start off with this article yeah okay so the title guys the title is want stronger muscles eat leafy greens okay um who of you here eat green vegetables and who of you don't eat green vegetables okay one second while i let cookie out I can't uh, let him out with this. Good. I'm back. Tell me in the, in the chat. Who has eaten green vegetables today? Okay. I eat a lot of green vegetables. I'm a vegetarian, and as a lot of you know. Um, so here on the right, we have celery celery okay can everyone repeat celery at home celery right next to it we have a cucumber Q 
cucumber. Okay, cucumber. Then we have a courgette. Courgette. Right? Courgette. Nice. Next to it, we have a pepper, some sort of green pepper. Okay, green pepper. Then I see here is a lime, a little bit different to a lemon, but very similar. A lime. And we have avocado. Avocado. I've had avocado twice today. Um, here, I think we have another pepper of some sort. Okay, like a chili. I think it's a chili. Chili. Yeah. Above is parsley. Parsley. Here we have gem squash, broccoli, beans, let, uh, cabbage, lettuce, and that's either green onion. Yeah, I think it's green onion. Yeah, or spring onion, some people call it. Yeah. Okay, we see a zoomet likes green vegetables. Gamme, cucumbers, 10 out of 10. Nice. Uh, beans, broccoli, also on the list. Nice. Gamme, I love lettuce. And the others, I really don't know the names. Okay, well, there you go. I've shown you now. Priyanka likes spinach. Me too. Spinach is my favorite. Spinach is my favorite. And I also like broccoli. I also like broccoli. Okay. But I wouldn't say that some of these are not leafy greens. They're just green vegetables because leafy greens entails that they have leaves, right? And some of them don't. Or maybe they do on the plant, but we don't eat them. All right. Nice. So let's move out of that and let's start to talk about the vocabulary. Here I want you to be active. I want you to say the words out loud. All right. I want you to pronounce them the same way that I pronounce them. Okay, practice makes progress. And if you're not active in your learning, you're not going to remember the information. Just listening to a YouTube video is not going to help you as much as being active and participating will. All right. The first word is serving. Serving. Okay, notice over here we have the phonetic spelling. This here is an apostrophe. It is before the first syllable. So we pronounce the first syllable stressed. Serving. Serving. Can everyone repeat at home? Serving. An amount of food that is suitable for one person. This is the definition, okay? A serving of food for one person. All right? This recipe should make four servings. So it means that the recipe for the meal will serve four people. It will make four servings. All right, servings. Nice. The next word is nitrate. Nitrate. Once again, the apostrophe is before the first syllable, which means we stress the first syllable. Nitrate. Nitrate. It's a chemical substance that contains nitrogen and oxygen. Okay. It's important for athletes to eat foods rich in nitrate, such as spinach and broccoli. My favorites. Okay. Good. Um, the next word, intake. Intake. Once again, first syllable. Intake. Can everyone say it at home? Intake. Okay. The amount of something that you take into your body. For example, what is your daily fiber intake? Okay. What is your daily fiber intake? All right. Next one. This is a phrase. Get the most out of. Get the most out of. Can everyone say this? To get the most out of. To get the most out of. Nice. To make the best use of someone or something. To make the best use of someone or something. For, exam for example, to get the most out of this exercise, try doing it as slowly as you can. All right. To get the most out of these lessons, you should be intermediate. An intermediate English learner. Okay. To get the most out of these lessons. 
okay, to get the most benefits. All right, next word, supplement. Supplement. Stress, again, is on the first syllable. Supplement. It's a type of pill that contains vitamins, nutrients, etc. For example, the doctor told his patient to take a vitamin supplement every day. Supplement. Say it at home. Supplement. So notice it's not supplement. It's supplement. Uh, uh, supplement. Okay. Next word, fracture. Fracture. A stress is on the first syllable again. Fracture. 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 It sounds like a ch, ch sound. Fracture. It's to crack or break a bone. So if you fracture your bone, you've broken it. Usually when they say it's a fracture, it's not as bad as a full break. Okay. A clean break. It's a fracture in the bone. Uh, okay. But it's also, it's broken in some way. She fractured her leg when she fell from her bicycle. Okay, she fractured her leg when she fell from her bicycle. I've never fractured a bone. Have any of you fractured a bone before? Let me know. Let me know. Do you like Aragula? Um, I think you think, is Aragula um, like rocket, I believe? Not my favorite. Not my favorite, to be honest. I don't get it for the house. Um, Priyanka, beetroot. Mm, beetroot is delicious. But I'm scared of beetroot because it stains everything. So anywhere you put it, you have to be careful. If you drop it um, on the countertop, it'll stain. If you drop it on your clothes, it will stain that red-pink color. Jonas, hello, Cassia, May, and Jonas. <laughs> You're very welcome. Lovely. Okay, let's start reading the article, okay? Stay with me. Don't go anywhere. You've learned your vocabulary. Now you need to see how it is used, all right? And then after, we're going to have a discussion in the chat. I'm going to ask you questions. You're going to answer them. So don't leave just yet, okay? Just another 15 minutes. Let's go. One serving of leafy green vegetables every day may make our muscles stronger, according to new research from Edith Cowan University in Australia. The research has looked at data from 3,800 Australian men and women collected over 12 years. The results showed that the leg muscle used to extend the knee were 11% stronger among participants with the highest nitrate intake, a median of 91 milligrams a day, compared to those who ate the least, a median of 47 milligrams. Participants with the highest nitrate intake were also found to have up to 4% faster walking speeds. Okay. Most of these nitrates, one second. Most of these nitrates came from leafy green vegetables. Spinach, which is very nitrate rich, had the biggest benefits according to the study, along with cabbage, lettuce, and even beetroot. We should be eating a variety of vegetables every day, with at least one of those serves being leafy greens, said lead researcher Dr. Mark Sim. To get the most out of our muscles, Sim suggests a balanced diet rich in, rich in leafy greens and doing regular exercise, including weight training. However, Sim said that less than 1 in 10 Australians eat the recommended 5 to 6 servings of vegetable a day, vegetables a day. He also said eating real vegetables is better than taking supplements. I agree. Yeah. Strong muscles are critical for our health, especially as we get older, because having weaker muscles has been linked to a higher risk of falling and fracturing bones. With around one in three Australians aged over 65 suffering a fall each year, it's important to find ways to prevent these events, said Sim. Sim said that researchers now want to look at ways to increase leafy green consumption among the general population. Nice. So here, hello Poana, welcome. Priyanka had an accident and fractured a right 
right bone, but now I'm recovered. Good. Sha, you did not die. <laughs> Lovely. Um, no, you haven't had a fracture. Okay. Nice. I've never had a fracture. I've been lucky. Hi, Purana. Welcome to today's lesson. Thanks for being here. Okay, guys, now I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? And I want to see if you can find the answers. The, ah, oh, this one doesn't have any questions. Oh, you know why? It's an advanced reading today. Advanced. You're all lucky. Who understood most things in the article today? Who of you understood most things in the article today? Let me know in the comments. Is there anything you did not understand and you would like me to elaborate on? You would like me to explain further. You'd like me to explain for you. If there's anything, I can help you right now. However, if you understand everything, then that's awesome. Because today's lesson is actually advanced. Which is great. Okay, which is great. Hello, Shira. Hi, Valerie. Nice to have you here. Good. Okay, so let's see. Um, are there any foods that all of you disliked? Are there any foods that all of you disliked as a kid, but like now? Okay, but like now. So are there any foods that you disliked as a kid, but you enjoy them now? I want you to tell me in the chat if there are any foods that you disliked as a child, as a kid, but you enjoy now. For me, there are many. For me, there are many. Number one, broccoli. I never ate broccoli. And spinach. I barely liked green vegetables. The only green thing I ate, the green food I ate, was probably cucumber. And now I eat all of it. But I had no idea that it was so healthy. No idea. Um, let's see. Okay. Riska, yes, I understood. Health is most important, is more important, more important than wealth. Absolutely. Absolutely agreed. Um, do you health is, um, Riska, tomatoes. Okay, lovely. I dislike tomatoes as a child and I still dislike them. Only when they're fresh though. I can eat them cooked, but not fresh. Uh, Valerie, I dislike milk. Okay, me too. <laughs> Rosario, vegetables in general, yeah. Devu, green vegetables, yeah. Priyanka, as a kid, I didn't like green peas, but now I eat a lot of them. Nice. So actually, I'm the opposite. As a kid, I loved green peas, and as an adult, I don't dislike them, I just don't love them anymore. It's interesting. Jonas, eating healthy food is more, is more good, is better, you can say, is better than taking supplements. Yes, eating healthy food is better than taking supplements, okay? Instead of saying more good, you can use the word better, okay? Um, Francine, no, my mother used to cook only. Okay, nice, good. Guillermo, Scarlet eggplant. I used to hate it as a kid, but now I can eat it. Scarlet eggplant. I don't know what scarlet eggplant is. Um, in South Africa, we actually call eggplant aubergine. It's like the fancy word for eggplant. Um, Vedang, I hate potato. I hated, remember past tense, I hated potatoes when I was a child, but now I like them. I hated potatoes when I was a child, but now I like them. Shara, green vegetables. Okay, yeah, common one. I want to see this beautiful and his banner feed video then started. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Francine, my mother cooked only vegetables that my father preferred. Okay, but at least you got vegetables, yeah? <sighs> That's good and healthy. Yeah. Um, Valerie, I dislike fatty meat, you can say. Fatty, F-A-T-T-Y. Yeah, fatty meat. Okay. Harish, hi, Harish. Purna, as a kid, I hated, remember past tense, hated tomato because it stained, past tense, my teeth. But now I like the taste. 
okay, wow. So we've got two people there with the tomato. And I think you were the one that talk, spoke about tomatoes. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, David, uh, David, turnip greens. I tried it with sausages. It's a lot different than boiled ones. Okay, nice. Um, you're right, Fadang. I'm here to correct. Yeah, I'm here to help you with your grammar, to help you with your... I can't help you with your pronunciation, unfortunately, in these, but I can help you with your grammar and your writing skills. All right? Um, great, guys. Thank you for answering all those questions. So, um, let's move on. Um, what foods do you try to avoid and why? What foods do you try to avoid and why? I'd like you to tell me in the chat, what foods do you try to avoid and why? Uh, Priyanka, yes, Priyanka. Yes, there is no comparison between leafy veggies and supplements. Green leafy veggies have so many benefits like glowing skin, healthy gut and many more. Absolutely. You couldn't have said it better, Priyanka. Valerie, when I was a child, I disliked, past tense, yeah, disliked butter. Right now, I can eat a lot of it. Okay, nice. Wow, that's interesting too. Um, butter is an acquired taste, but most people do like it, yeah. Okay, lovely. So, what foods do you try to avoid and why? For me, I try to avoid dairy. I don't like to eat dairy, so dairy is anything from cheese, milk, yogurt, these kinds of things. I eat cheese, but I eat vegan cheese made from coconut or made from soy. Yeah. And other foods I try to avoid are foods with lots of sugar. Yeah. So um, maybe fast foods, uh, desserts, um, lots of chocolate. Um, what else? Anything processed, any processed foods, processed, processed sugar, I try to avoid. I think that that's best and much healthier for us. Um, Gustava, I try to avoid fast food. Good. Um, I used to avoid non-veg because I am vegan. Nice, Pona. Same as me. <laughs> um... Shara, ma'am, actually, I love all food. Lovely. Good. That's the easiest, right? Um, sha, all veg food I like. I try to avoid sugar. I try to avoid junk food, but sometimes I fail hilariously. <laughs> Me too. I try to avoid it, but it's good that you try. And then sometimes if you give in, that's okay. It's good for you. Um, if it's in that moment and you really want it then and it's going to make you happy, then you can have it every now and then. But I try to avoid it because it's not good for you if you're having it on a regular, um, in a regular diet. Okay, I avoid dairy products because it causes me pain in my knees. Okay, Francine. Wow, that's an interesting one. I wonder why. Um, Eunice, I had no problem with any vegetables when I was a child, so it's the same right now. I like them all. Nice. Rizka, ice cream, cake, and other sweet dessert because I'm diagnosed with insulin resistance. Okay, that's not a nice thing to have, but sometimes it's a blessing in disguise, yeah, to have an insulin resistance. So you have to avoid it. I avoid foods with excess salt and fat, carbonated drinks too. Good. Yeah, salt and carbonated drinks for me, I try to avoid. Although recently I've been enjoying Coca-Cola. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so I, did, I don't use dessert because of, I don't eat dessert, okay? I don't eat dessert or have dessert, all right? Use for this, um, for food, is not correct, all right? Use or have. Um, eat, sorry, eat or have. Vedang, I avoid lemon because I have allergy to this. Okay, wow, I have an allergy to this. I try to avoid eating garlic soup. I can't handle the flavor. Garlic soup? Wow, someone give me some of that. I love garlic. I can eat whole cooked garlics just like that. Pop them in my mouth. <laughs> um, most think that I hate, think the most thing that I hate is sugar. Okay, I avoid eating meat. 
I'm vegetarian because I want to decrease my carbon footprint. Lovely, Busra. Go vegans and vegetarians. Good for you. <laughs> Shara, next question, please. Absolutely. Okay, last question of today. Um, would you describe the average diet in your country as healthy? Why or why not? Would you describe the average diet in your country as healthy? Why or why not? Let me know in the chat. Would you describe the average diet in your country as healthy? Why or why not? Here in Spain, um, I wouldn't say it's very healthy, but this is my take on food, okay? Uh, the reason being is because there's a lot of cheese and meat in the diet here. However, they eat Mediterranean foods are lots of fish, which can be healthy for you, and these kinds of things. So in Spain, I wouldn't say that the average diet is very healthy. It's not unhealthy, but it's not very healthy. South Africa, I think we have quite a healthy diet. We eat our food quite quite plain without sauces and extra salt and extra sugar we usually have quite plain food and so i think that that can be quite healthy when we don't add any extra msg salt sugar this kind of thing and the food is not as processed all right sajid no i don't i don't have any cake because of diabetes um i don't understand your question sorry okay shira um, would you describe the average diet in your country as healthy? So is the average diet in your country healthy? The average diet means the normal diet. So the food that people usually eat in your country, is it healthy or is it unhealthy? All right. That is what the question means. Uh... Rosario, it's really healthy because we have a lot of Mediterranean food. Nice. Where are you, Rosario? I'd like you to say what country you're in as well when you answer in the chat. That would really help. Yeah, that would really help. Let's go to full cam because we know the question now and I think you understand it. Anyone else? Anyone else want to answer? Absolutely, pizza. <laughs> I don't know if pizza is healthy. Bear. In my country, healthy food is very expensive. It's difficult to maintain a healthy diet. Okay, absolutely. I think that's a worldwide problem, right? Because in some countries, fast food is just cheaper. It's cheaper to buy it because you don't have to spend on electricity to cook. Uh, and the grocery store can be more expensive when you're trying to make good food. And you go to a fast food place like McDonald's and it's cheaper and it's tasty and it's unhealthy. <laughs> uh, fresh vegetables and fruits are a healthy diet. Well, processed, processed food, we consider unhealthy food. Absolutely. Depending on the location, Indonesia have difference of food. Okay. Absolutely. Indonesia, I found the food delicious. Okay. There are many lots, there are lots of vegetables and fruits and it can be a lot of healthy food, but they cook their food with a lot of oil. And I find that quite unhealthy. I struggled with my stomach in Indonesia because the food was too oily for me and there was a lot of sugar in it too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Here, all people are good eating like rice and bread. Nice. Green salad, nuts, fruits. Lovely, Valerie. Uh, Francine, avoiding dairy products changed my life. I read a book written by Jacqueline Legasse, How Overcoming Pain with Food. Wow, nice. Francine, you're going to have to share that with me. Um, because I believe in that totally. Um, to be honest, I have had... Um, quite a few um, issues with with my stomach in the past and ever since I changed my diet it changed as well so I completely believe in that Purna it's healthy in South India because most of them eat lots of vegetables they try to avoid unhealthy food 
In Java, we have pestle, steamed salad with bean sauce. Priyanka can say that it goes in both ways, healthy as well as unhealthy. You've got fish and goat meat. Wow. Morocco, it's not too healthy, but unhealthy too, like Spain. We're eating vegetables a lot, but there's some snacks who let the average go a little bit too unhealthy. Um, okay, nice. Correctly, Mish. Correctly, Mish. What's that mean? Um, in Java, a pestle. Okay, so Eunice from Morocco, I think it's not too healthy, but it's not unhealthy. There's some snacks. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, Eunice, but let's move on. Where's my dog? He's out the room. He wanted to leave. He did not want to meet every, everyone today. I think he's tired. Um, okay, guys, thank you for being here today. I'm going to have to love and leave you uh, because I just saw that I received an email and I need to respond quickly. Um, I'm sending you all lots of love lots of happiness, lots of healthy food your way. Remember, if you like the way I'm teaching you here, if you want to learn vocabulary, you want to retain the information, you want to learn how to communicate confidently with others, then you need to join the Fluency Club. You can click the link below. You can go to the link Put your email in, subscribe to the waitlist. It's launching next week. I'm super excited. And once again, remember, if you want to see when I go live here, put the post notifications on. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being so active. And have a lovely, lovely morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye, guys.